guys welcome to another episode of fish and dive hawaii where we give you all the best fishing and diving tips here in the aloha state and i've been sick for like the last what three weeks month i've been dove in forever so it's my first dive back and uh, we'll see if i can catch anything be a little solo mish so i'm not gonna go too far out but hopefully we can land an uhu or two so let's go jump in the water right now. So I'm out here on the north shore of Oahu where I am from and this is where I dive 95% of the time. I'm gonna be testing out my new gun, well my used gun that's new to me. <laughs> if you guys haven't seen this video already, I did a video about how to rig it up and change the model line and uh, that video is gonna be right up here in this little box. And so today I'm gonna be checking out some new grounds. I dove here once with my buddy but we were on a really time dive. I think we only dove for like little over an hour and it was really cool because i got to explore some new grounds but it was really murky and so i didn't get to get as much done as i would have liked and hardly seen um, a lot of the fish are probably more on the outside and so right here on this drop i see a little uhu um, or at least a pile of them and so i'm stalking it right here and i like to take these warm-up drops when i'm first jumping in just so i can get my lungs uh, kind of warmed up so when i hit the fish on the outside I'm already good to go and so you can see the uhu, if you guys can see that right there, I'm stalking it, going down on the right side, didn't have a shot and unfortunately this guy got lucky today. And that seemed like the running theme for at least the first half of the dive, the fish would come into range for like 2-3 seconds and then swim right back out and so at this point I'm, I'm getting kind of frustrated and um, I take a drop on this little pile of fish see an uhu come inside and I decide to take a longer shot at one right there and you can see I missed low because it was a long shot I could have waited for the fish to come in just a little bit more but like I said I was getting frustrated because of the other few drops that I had took so after this I decided to be a little bit more patient with how I'm stalking these fish and so here's a good technique which is swimming perpendicular to where the fish are located and even swimming in the opposite direction and so the fish it's gonna arouse curiosity with them. Fish are super curious creatures, as you can see that uhu swam in right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and target that fish. I know it's tame. When you see uhus come in like that, that, that's when you know that they're pretty tame and that you will have probably a shot at one and you just have to be patient. One thing that's more important than having a good bottom time is having a good hiding spot and a good combination of both is gonna optimize how much fish you guys are catching when you're going spearfishing. And so I'm just waiting for this uhu to come back in. I know it will, it's pretty tame. If I'm not gonna catch it on this drop, then I'll catch it on another one or at least attempt to. And so it swam in, I take a shot, let go of my gun, which is a really good technique for you guys who are asking for uhu, uhu um, stalking techniques or hunting techniques, whatever. I'm gonna make a bigger video, like a more in-depth video on it. But that's an awesome tip, is to just let go of the gun when you shoot the uhu. And don't worry, unless you're shooting like a 12, 13 pound blue uhu or something, uh, it's not gonna drag your gun to the depths or at least to the point where you're not able to retrieve it. So the worst that's gonna happen is what happened right here, which is this fish tangling up everything. And so I'm just trying to land it. This is what they do when they get shot. They run into reefs or areas and they'll just hide inside. And nine times out of 10, if you guys shoot an uhu and it rips off, then it'll go into hiding and you won't be able to catch it. And so if you're able to put a good shot on it where I have the line and the shaft and everything through, you'll be able to retrieve it and you just have to worry about untangling it, which is what I'm dealing with right here. And so I'm gonna go down right now, drain the fish while it's on the bottom. So I, I'm not gonna worry about it ripping off. So I swim down right now with my knife, gonna grab it in the gills, or at least try to grab it in the gills, place it, brain it, put it out of its misery, and then worry about untangling the line afterwards. 
So now that I've landed the fish, or at least almost landed it, we'll see if I can untangle everything right here. I just want to talk about that technique that I told you about letting the gun go. Because uhus have really soft meat, which makes them such delicious fish and why everybody loves to eat uhu, it also allows them to rip off really easy. And I'd say the percentage of them ripping off, from my experience at least, is about 30 70 so it's very important to place good shots on the uhu if it rips off it's just gonna go ahead and die somewhere so use as much techniques as you can just try to place good shots and then you won't waste the fish's time obviously and yours you're gonna be super bummed out when the uhu rips off especially when you work so hard to get it and so letting go of the gun pretty much if you guys try to fight the fish with your gun it just increases the percentage or it increases the chances of the fish ripping off and when you let the gun go it'll take itself off and fight the gun instead of you trying to pull and force it out so i recommend just letting the gun go let the fish hit a dead end like the last fish did but just always be cautious especially when you're diving deep if you have enough breath hold to untangle it so just be wary of that on this drop i had a couple uh, smaller uhus come in two three pounds legal sized fish but i decided to let them go just because i wanted to target a little bit bigger ones five six pounds are usually what i'm after that's perfect anything bigger than that that's when the texture of the meat starts getting all crazy and so this mimpachi swam out right in the middle right there and it ended up ripping off shortly afterwards so i traded the uhus for a mimpachi and ended up not being able to land any of them so at this point I'm starting to swim in already from the outside and I run into this fishing line and I just wanted to put this in the video because I want to show you guys the dangers of just having fishing line out. I'm sure this wasn't the fisherman's fault. It looked like he had droned out his line or something and then I got snagged and so he just cut the line. I'm not sure what happened but I ended up getting tangled all up in this thing and so I go and wrap as much as I could out put it inside of my glove um, right there I'll fl flip my glove over put in the wetsuit and I recommend doing this if you guys come across fishing line or anything just cut it up clean the reef if it can tangle a human it can tangle a fish or maybe I'm just a dumb human <laughs> I don't know uh, but anyways go ahead and get that cut up tangled up bring that in and throw away take another drop and try to shoot more fish and so this uhu I notice is really tame you can see it swimming right there I'm gonna go and stalk it a little bit more waiting for it to come in again but it's okay this is a little bit shallower waters this is kind of more on the inside and so i'm going to be patient here knowing that i can hold my breath longer don't have to worry about swimming back up so i took another drop in between this one and the last one and i noticed the fish kept swimming in but if i found a really good hiding spot it would come in really close where i can place a really good shot and so i noticed the fish is swimming in this little sand pocket i go ahead and hide on this big rock and sure enough, it swims right in. I was able to place a good shot so I don't find it necessary to let go of my gun here. So like I said, the margin for error in, error in shooting these fish is really high. So if you can just take a little bit more time knowing that the fish is pretty tame, you can place a really good shot on it and it'll increase your chances of landing the fish. Um, right here, I made some really crucial mistakes and that was pretty much playing around. I waved at these helicopters, I do that every now and then. You guys all know we have a lot of military here and I just play around like that. And this is what happens when you play around, you lose fish. So I'm trying to bring up this fish. As you can see, it's not going anywhere anytime soon. A uh, really good shot placement and look what happens. The flopper, um, I wouldn't say the flopper failed. It was more of a human error knowing that the flopper would do that had I not just been more smart and grabbed the fish on the other side. And like I said, once these fish get shot, the first, their instinct is to just swim inside of a hole and to hide in the hole. Eventually this fish is gonna die and it's just a waste of time. Um, I was super bummed out because that uhu was bigger than the first one that I shot. And, I, and if you guys shoot fish and it rip off, just take 10, 15 minutes of your time to try to land it. I never do, but I always at least try. And these rocks, they, they're like mazes in here. So the chances of you trying to find it afterwards is very slim, but you have to give it at least a shot. Um, it's just the right thing to do. So I wasn't able to find this fish. I think I looked for it for like 10, 15, 20 minutes, and I was just slapping myself in the face because I was playing around. So managed to land one fish, had a couple rip off, but it's all right, able to take home this nice oval right here. I got tangled in all this fishing line. About to throw this away. 
where it belongs. As you guys seen in the video, I had that one rip, just doing some um, crucial, crucial errors trying to land the fish. So hopefully that will be avoided next time. But was able to land this fish, pretty stoked. Um, I was able to catch something. So let's go ahead and cook this up.